doll collectors and gift givers. Today, we are taking a look at one of my favorite things to collect, mini brands. My precious. Zero Five Surprise Mini Brands features real name brands in miniature. Remove the wrapper, open the ball, peel off the cover to find a surprise mini. This is Kikomon Less Sodium Soy Sauce. We got a box of Wet One Singles, a collector's guide showing the entire collection. Pull back another one and we have this looks like a basket. We have to put this together. There's instructions. This piece goes there, and this one goes right here. And you're done. Happy collecting! I have to see what the last two surprises are. Ooh, my favorite! Bathroom products. Dove dry spray. Did that sound like a commercial? Because it totally felt like one. My last surprise is candy. All right, well, it'll look good in a store. Speaking of stores, say hello to the Mini Mart. This is the Zuru 5 Surprise Mini Brands Mini Mart. I bought this at Target for $29.99. On the front, it says, Store and display your mini brand collection. Includes four mystery minis, makes real shopping sounds, build your store, 22 pieces included. Looking at the box, it is easy to see that this was not designed for a one six scale world. <sighs> oh, no. We love dolls. We gotta put some dolls in there. So we need to see which dolls can fit. On the back of the box, you can see the shop all set up, store and display your mini brand collection, four minis included, pretty much the same stuff from the front, multiple sets shown, check out what's included. That's a very nice way of saying you don't get a fully stocked store, but you do get four mystery minis, one mini mart base plate, one mini mart entrance, one speaker stand, two freezer units, one medium shelf, one small shelf, two end of aisle shelves, one basket, one trolley, one cashier's counter, one fruit corner, two shelf connectors, one set of stickers, one collector's guide, and one instruction guide. So you're gonna have to keep searching for these to get those boxes of Twinkies, unless they are your mystery minis. Let's get everything out of the box for a closer look. Whoa, everything is wrapped in paper rather than plastic. That's pretty cool. We got a lot of instructions. This is, um, oh, there you go. It's like one giant page. Stickers, haha, <laughs> that's gonna be fun. A collector's guide, nice. And a whole bunch of little packages. First thing we gotta do is assemble the base plate. I could be missing something, but I don't see that the packages are labeled. So you're just gonna have to open them and figure it out. This is the large red one. We're gonna go ahead and just cut open the top. Ah, I didn't cut far, far enough down. Okay, there we go. Now we can take a look inside and see what's in there. I think that's the base plate. Yay, good guess. We got white squares and some blue pieces. There are letters underneath the plates. That's the letter B and right there we have an E. There are also letters on the top. These correspond to the letters on the instructions. Or do they? Because that's my letter A right there. This is a letter A block, but it doesn't look like that one. This one actually looks like that one. So, and this one looks like my letter A, but it says E. Hmm. I'm not gonna worry about the letters. I'm just gonna match up the pictures. 
first set is connected. Second row, so we're gonna attach those two together. And this one on the end. Base plate, check. Add the blue stuff. Open another bag. Wrong bag. It's the little green one. These go right here. These right here. Oh, these are those little security things at the front of the store. That is awesome. Poles, love that. And some little gates. We gotta put little stickers on those. Not a big fan of having to apply stickers. Just saying. A large pink bag has the sign. It needs the large pink sticker. I did it! It came out pretty neat. Yeah! Awning goes on the front. Do you see these little air vent details on the back of the sign? It's like when you walk in the store and all that air is just blowing down on top of you. They included that. That's cool. These go on the side, then place it in the front. Assembling the accessories, build the frame, add the shelves to make a single shelf. These look just like the ones from the Five Surprise mini brands. Here's one right here. Yep, they're the same. We also have baskets and shopping carts. So that's one way you can add to this playset and make a bigger mini mart. I built both the shelves from the pack and the little end cap that goes right there. Now this is going to go on top. First, add the stickers. Use it to hold everything together to make the stand. I like the idea, but I wish there was a way to better connect this to the side. It feels a little loose. There are little braces on the floor in the mini mart. They do add a little more stability, but you do have to be careful not to knock it over. Let's put this together. First, add the mini brand sticker to the front and back. These two pieces are connected. Remove the little tag from the battery. Lock it into the back corner. When you push the top, it makes noises. This is the fruit corner. Take the base, add this gray thing, and then this part, and the square goes on top. Place the stickers to make the display. There's a small shelf for candy, and it has wheels on the bottom. It feels a little top heavy to me, so just be careful. We have two freezer units. Put the clear plastic into the frame of the door, then put the door onto the freezer unit. Oh, that's cool. Add the shelves, place them side by side, and add the sign at the top. Put it into the store to make a freezer section. There are two more displays with rounded shelves has a little sign on the top that says $2 off. Let's open this. Feels like we've been constructing this thing for a while. That looks like a shopping cart. Yep, it's a cart. The carts go right here. I only have three bags left, and I know we're supposed to have a checkout counter. That's a basket. That was pretty easy to put together. Let's see if this is the cash register. Um, I think that is it. Yay! First, we have to put all of the blue sides together. The gray piece goes inside of the yellow one, then place it on top. Add the side rail, the gray plate, the screen, assemble the pole, and attach it to the counter. Add the stickers, place it in the store. Now there is a spot for another cash register, but this playset only comes with one. In the last bag, we have, hopefully it's our mystery minis. And yeah, it is. We got cupcakes, tanning lotion, and shaving cream. The fourth mini is located on the box. 
Ah. I'm gonna need scissors. Now we got our Mentos that we can shelve in our store. But I do believe I got my placement a little crazy, so give me a moment to set this up according to the picture on the box. All right, this is the setup from the instructions. The cash register is in the back with the little candy display. The two rounded shelves are in the front, a large shelf on the side. The freezer is in the back along with the fruit corner. Place the mystery minis on the shelf and that's the Zuru 5 Surprise Mini Mart. To get a store with as much shelving as the one shown on the front of the box, I would need to combine more than one playset or collect the shelves from the surprise balls. We can use these brackets to kind of hold them in place. Let's open a 5 Surprise Mini brand to see if we can get another shelf. I totally need another shelf. Ah, uh, that wasn't it. Okay. Let's see. Come on, come on, come on. We need a shelf. We need a shelf. Sunblock. What's in here? Candy. Come on. Wipes. Oh, actually, I really like that. Um, a cart. Ah, that's the problem with these. They're surprise balls, so you don't know what you're gonna get. You might end up with a whole bunch of carts. Maybe our luck will be better this time. Come on, I just need a shelf. Come on, come on, where's the little tab? There it is. That is more shaving cream. Well, at least our store will be well stocked with shaving cream. Okay, Ugh, come on. More shaving cream. <laughs> okay, here we go. Candy. And the last one is a shelf, a shelf, a shelf. What? What? That one only had products. Well, at least we added to our inventory. This scale is perfect for our Nindroids. They are just the right size for the carts. Hair adorables look good in this space as well. And you can probably get away with using a Chelsea size doll. But our 10 to 12 inch dolls are definitely too large for this mini mart. But you know what? These pieces are connectable. So if we took the top off of one, we can connect it to the other, making a taller shelf that we can use with our 12 inch dolls. I've got an idea. Take the box and cut open the sides. I'm going to use one piece for the floor and the other for a back wall. Cover them with poster board or with scrapbook paper, glue them together that wall is going to need a little more support. So we're gonna use our oh so real mini pack shelves that we made in a previous video and glue them against the wall. Clear out the mini brands mini mart. I was hoping I could use this as a floor so I get some nice pretty tiles. However, all of these little pieces here would just limit where I'm allowed to put things. So cut leftover poster board into squares, glue them to the floor to make tiles. Cut foam board or cardboard to glue onto the side. I cut another piece of the box. I'm gonna glue it right across the top to fill in that space. Take the freezer, cut a rectangle of foam board. I'm going to glue the freezer to the top, cut foam board for the sides. I only wanted to cover the blue side of the freezer, then have this wall extend three inches. So I made a diagonal line. The lower half of my wall goes up five inches. I'm using a metallic scrapbook paper to cover the sides first, then glue them in place. Glue foam board across the top, add more to the bottom, add a shelf foam board to the front, add scrapbook paper to make a combo freezer unit. 
where we can still open the doors. I'm going to place that on the side wall, rearrange the shelves to make them taller. I don't have a lot of these silver pieces, so I've put the shelves on both sides. Use foam board to make a platform, glue the shelves on top, add a mini brands sign on top. I take the handles off of extra baskets, cut off the ends. I have to shave it down just a little to push it into the rails with the small ball on the end facing up. Then we can use a small hole punch on bags of candy and hang them on the hooks. Now we can stock the shelves with our mini brands collection. I added some of their stickers across the bottom for more detail. When I couldn't make the shelves as tall as I wanted, I just made a taller platform. I glued more hooks onto foam board to make a display going down the wall. Glued together four strips of foam board to make a square pillar. Use foam board for the base. Make two. Glue the sign across the top to make an entrance for the store. And now our Minimis can enjoy the Mini Mart. I probably made that a little too tall. For our little renovation, there are some pieces I didn't use, but hmm, this could come in handy for when we need some sound effects. For me, this renovation was necessary. I use mini brands with my 10 to 12 inch dolls, so I would totally need a mini mart that size. I glued many of the shelves together to give them more support. My oh so real mini packs collection helped to make my store look fully stocked because we didn't have as much shelving as I would have liked from the playset. I didn't make a cash register. But I can always use this one from a Barbie playset to finish our mini mart. Where's the cashier? In the future, I will probably just collect the shelves from the surprise balls to work on my store. So we can display more and more mini brands. Thank you for joining us while we turned our Zuru 5 Surprise Mini Mart into a not so mini mart that can fit our 12 inch dolls. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. And we will see you next time. Bye!